WSBT-TV is your hometown station. This is WSBT Eyewitness News, Night Shift. Good evening in Detroit, a Continental Airlines 727 skids on its belly during an emergency landing minus one landing gear. But fortunately, no one was hurt as the jet slid in on its nose. The pilot noticed a problem with the landing gear shortly after takeoff. The airport emergency crews coated the landing strip with fire retardant foam to cushion the jet as it landed. Passengers say they saw smoke and sparks shoot out as the plane skidded down. We were nervous, obviously. It was scary, you know, but it uh, turned out great. There's a little lady It was in the back, and when I went back to talk to them, she was very, very frightened, very frightened, and she had her head down. And I, I held her, and I said, don't worry, it'll be fine. It'll be just normal. You won't notice anything different. And then when we got off the airplane, I saw her, and I hugged her, and, and she was happy as could be, yeah. The plane circled for two hours before landing to burn off excess fuel. 134 people were on board the plane, traveling from Detroit to Denver. 11th hour negotiations between Bremen Castings and its workers yield a tentative agreement but fail to end that strike. A federal mediator spent the day with management and workers at the bargaining table. The company had threatened to fire the striking workers if they didn't go back to work today. Employees will vote on the tentative agreement Tuesday morning in Bremen. They're hoping management won't go ahead and hire any replacements. The union went on strike September 1st after the company cut wages and benefits in a new contract. Fifty people lost their jobs today at Lincoln National Corporation in Fort Wayne. Thirteen hundred others are wondering how long they will have theirs. Lincoln has announced it wants to sell the Employees Benefits Division of the multi-billion dollar insurance company. That division administers group health benefits through HMOs and group life benefits. Employees are worried because a new employer might not want to keep the jobs in Fort Wayne. Lincoln won't say what its asking price is, but says it is not close to a sale. Four buyers have expressed interest. The news is much better for the Allied Signal Aerospace Company in South Bend. Allied has signed a deal with the Air Force that's worth more than $23 million worth of work. The contract calls for Allied to provide the Advanced Fuels Accessory Test System for seven different Air Force jets. Cindy? It's the eve of National POW MIA Recognition Day, and it's been an especially meaningful holiday for family and friends of a Michiana soldier. The night shift's Gwen McKillop has been with them in Laporte tonight. Gwen? Cindy, as you know, Army Major Donald Carr has been missing since he was shot down over Laos 20 years ago. But his loved ones never believed the U.S. government when it said he was dead. Now the government is starting to share that faith. Just yesterday, the government confirmed that this picture of Carr is authentic and that it's not more than 18 months old. Now there's plans in the works for two U.S. search teams to leave for Laos to find Donald Carr. His brother thinks the teams will find more than they bargained for. I think that uh, if we do get my brother out, there other people are going to be there too. Because we do know that initially when... Uh, the uh, photograph was taken. There were 17 other individuals in the camp. And that brings up the question, just how many POWs and MIAs are there in Southeast Asia? These now unclassified CIA documents indicate there have been thousands of alleged sightings. But the key word is alleged, say government officials. Sometimes we find that there are false photographs, that there is uh, people trying to make money on these things, and we have to be very, very careful. The feeling at this vigil is perhaps more hopeful than at other Recognition Day ceremonies. That's because Donald Carr's family has more to go on than most in their situation. A picture and the attention of the U.S. government. Now, Cindy, there are 2,273 Americans who are unaccounted for from the Vietnam War. Is there anything else being done to find the POWs? Yes, in fact, there currently is a House bill on the floor that calls for a follow-up on clues that some of them may still be alive. Okay, Gwen, and it looks like the Bush administration is renewing its efforts to resolve the POW MIA issue. Today in Washington, Secretary of Defense Dick Cheney said work is being done to bring home any Americans who are still alive and being held prisoner. Cheney says families shouldn't have to bear the extra burden of charges the government has forgotten those left behind in Indochina. The Defense Secretary says the issue of the more than 2,000 Americans still unaccounted for remains a matter of highest national priority. The controversial antidepressant drug Prozac takes a bashing on Capitol Hill, but it comes out unscathed. 
Dozens of former Prozac users testified before a Food and Drug Administration panel, telling some very personal stories of how dangerous they believe the drug can be. This is hard for me because I tried to commit suicide in front of my five children. I didn't know what I was doing. I don't remember exactly what happened. All I know is that my husband took the gun away from me and my children was looking from the other room. What would have happened if these children had seen their mother commit suicide? I was only put on it for weight loss. Weight loss. Is it worth it? After being on Prozac for 21 days, my wife shot and killed both of these two boys right here. She turned the gun to herself and shot herself twice. Now she's in jail for murder. This testimony was followed by a raft of health specialists who say scientific studies have failed to show Prozac causes violent behavior and that unwarranted hysteria over the drug is being fanned by unsubstantiated evidence. Apparently, the panel agreed. By a vote of six to three, they recommended against any label changes for the antidepressant drug. Cindy? Anti- and pro-abortion activists don't get to meet face-to-face -face today, but their battle is still heated. It all centers around what is being called bogus abortion clinics. Uh, government reports as as many as 2,000 abortion clinics that don't really provide the service are in business nationwide. Instead, the clinics offer anti-abortion counseling. I advocate against this business existing because women like me go into these clinics expecting them to be abortion clinics, and they're not and they're full, they step all over your feelings, and I don't want any other woman to have to go through what I had to go through because it wasn't a horrible experience. Even if the woman makes a decision to have an abortion, these places are not gonna condemn her, they stand by her, and they comfort her, and they try to help her after her abortion. If that news ever gets out, the pro-abortion movement, who's been tarring all of us in the pro-life movement as anti-woman, is gonna have a public relations disaster. Anti-abortion activists called today's House hearing a kangaroo court because they were not allowed to testify. Now let's get a first look at the weekend weather. Here's Sam. It's going to start out cold with the coldest temperatures in the past five months overnight tonight with lows dropping into the middle 30s with some scattered frost. 65 for a daytime high with plenty of sunshine. We are under a frost advisory and I'll talk more about that coming up. Okay, Sam, the night shift continues just ahead. An Indianapolis man could go to jail for nearly dragging a dog to its death. A Michigan school teacher is certainly headed that way. He's guilty of killing a prostitute. And we'll wrap up the Thomas confirmation hearings. It looks like his seat may be secure. It's here. <laughs> Getting a new computer is pretty exciting stuff for a student. You can win a computer for your school with a great computer giveaway. Society Bank, along with Computer Associates, will be giving away three IBM-compatible computers to area schools, a pizza party for your class, and a $100 savings bond for you if you win. Simply register at any Society Bank location, and a drawing will be made. At Society, they're committed to the future of our community and its most important asset, our youth. For a brighter shopping experience, the New Martin Supermarket at Ironwood and State Road 23 in South Bend has everything under the sun and then some. In the wide aisles, you'll find unique produce, a salad bar, flowers and gifts, an old-style sausage shop, and an incredible delicatessen with everything from fresh hot pizzas to gourmet desserts. In fact, just about everything under the sun. Martin Supermarket, count on us. At Highland, we're cutting you the best deals ever. Here's proof. I saved $45 on this Sony Walkman at Highland. I saved $50 on my car stereo system and my speakers here at Highland. I came back to Highland Superstore today because they've always given me the best price and the best service for my money. I don't see any need to shop around anymore. Uh, we couldn't get anybody to get us a better deal than what we got here. It makes me feel good to shop at Highland and to save money like this. I'd do it again. Highland, we cut the best deals, period. If you're taking more than one prescription drug or seeing more than one doctor, questions can pop up. Your Osco pharmacist will check for drug interactions and potential allergy problems automatically every time.
Here's what's happening around our world tonight. A commuter nightmare in Chicago after an accident shuts down the Calumet Expressway. It happened after a pair of propane gas tanks rolled off a truck, one landing on the road, rupturing and spilling 250 gallons of fuel. Fearing an explosion, all lanes were shut down, bringing traffic to a dead halt. Cleanup crews mopped up the mess, and traffic started moving again late this afternoon. In Michigan, a multi-million dollar lotto winner is arrested and charged with murder. Police in Lansing say Willie Hurt killed his girlfriend after an argument over crack cocaine. Hurt won over $3 million in the Michigan lotto. He is collecting $114,000 a year. Regardless of what happens in the courtroom, he will continue to receive payments even if he goes to jail. In Grand Rapids, a school teacher is convicted of killing a prostitute. A jury returned the verdict against Richard Jensen Jr. late this afternoon. Jensen was accused of stabbing a prostitute 55 times in a church parking lot back in March. He says he killed her in self-defense after she pulled a knife on him because he refused to have sex with her. And in Indianapolis, the man dubbed as the dog dragger is convicted on two counts of criminal mischief and cruelty to an animal. Daniel Roos was accused of dragging a neighbor's dog nearly a mile with his pickup truck. Roos now faces up to four years in jail and a fine of up to $15,000. Confirmation hearings for Supreme Court nominee Clarence Thomas are over, and they end with a familiar tone. Linda Tyra wraps up the last day of the hearings, and what is next for the man who looks to take over the vacant seat on the nation's highest that, court? They did not have blacks in the, police the confirmation the hearings not, ended the way they began, with reflections on the civil rights movement and how it helped a young black man from the South rise to the brink of the nation's highest court. Among the final witnesses, leaders of some of the most powerful black groups who drew on Clarence Thomas's own background to charge that he has lost touch with those still struggling behind him. He talks about his experiences, his grandfather being called a boy. He talks about prejudice and discrimination. But those experiences did not leave him with the lessons of how to overcome that. He's forgotten what grandmama, granddaddy taught us to look out for each other. Reverend Brown, representing the world's largest black religious organization, accused Thomas of toning down some of his earlier statements for political expediency. What if Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. had, had appealed to popularity and not to justice? What if Mr. Justice Thurgood Marshall had appealed to popularity and not to justice? The passionate testimony seemed to hit the committee with a well-aimed punch. That is the most concise, explicit, and damning bill of particulars against Judge Thomas I have heard, and uh, somewhat convincing. But at the but same time, the remark struck a raw nerve with Thomas's defenders. So why don't we just quit cutting the baloney and lay it out there and just say, you don't like him because he's a conservative Republican. In fact, Thomas's supporters were unyielding. The testimony of Judge Thomas and those who testified on his behalf convinced me that he should be confirmed for a position on the Supreme Court. The Judiciary Committee could vote on the Thomas nomination by next Friday, despite concerns raised about how Thomas might rule on abortion and affirmative action, all signs point to confirmation. Linda Tyra, CBS News, Washington. Ahead on the night shift, a busy night of Friday night high school football. Tim has all the highlights and scores. And up next, Sam has the game day forecast for the Spartans and the Irish. Value City Furniture bought it all. Over $5 million of top quality custom crafted Craner living rooms. New styles, new fashions, new colors. All at incredible factory direct savings. Fabulous Craner sofas like these. Not $500, your choice, $288. Beautiful Craner sofas like these. Not $550, your choice, $348. These luxurious Craner sofas, not $600, your choice, $398. Plus love seats, chairs, sleepers, and recliners. All at incredible buyout prices. During the $5 million Craner buyout now at Value City Furniture. You know, more of you are watching what you eat. Well, we're watching too. That's why I stock so many kinds of fresh, healthy meats in my store. From turkey breast to sirloin tips to stir-fry strips, we'll take care of you. So here's to your health. Go Krogering this week for savings on fresh, grade-A Tyson Holly Farms whole fires, 39 cents a pound, limit three. And California red or white seedless grapes, 88 cents a pound. A word of appreciation from an RX watch card holder. Recently, I found myself in the emergency room with chest pains. We didn't have my list of prescriptions, but fortunately, the hospital staff called the RX watch operator, who immediately supplied the patient history they needed. The doctors were impressed, 
and my wife and I were relieved, to say the least. Thank you literally with all my heart. James B. Cockrell. Why is RX Watch absolutely free? Because you can't put a price on peace of mind. It's true. More people choose more of each of these brands at Sears Brand Central than any other superstore. They thank you. We thank you. Now during our birthday bash, pop in for the lowest price ever on this Kenmore dishwasher. Complete with three-level wash and soil separator for cleaner dishes. Save $40 now on Kenmore, America's favorite brand, only at Sears Brand Central. One thing to say about this weather, perfect football weather. Even per tonight, huh? Perfect football weather for tomorrow, but uh, critical weather tonight with the cold and the frost for all the plants and uh, the vegetation and the flowers, the tomato plants that are still out there. So if you haven't been out yet to cover up your plants or to bring in some of that tender vegetation, then do so before things get a little bit too cold. Otherwise, your plants may end up like our award-winning feature photo tonight. A shot of a, <laughs> a shot of a dead tree. An award-winning photo, I should add, by Cheryl Sales of Monterey, Indiana. All right, let's take a look at our numbers for the day. Our low this morning, only 44 degrees, protected by the lake. 58 our daytime high. 52 up to 73 would be our normal temperature range, and the records on this date 36 and 90. Right now we do have clear skies with 44, humidity 89%, dew point at 41, barometric pressure holding steady, it's high, northeast wind at 3, and a trace of lake effect precipitation earlier today. And I checked with some of our weather watchers uh, along the fringes of Michiana, and even our fringe counties protected by the warmth of Lake Michigan early this morning. Janine Luby and Knox, 40 degrees, no frost this morning. Harry Zaylor had a low this morning of 39 with no frost. 46 and 45, their current temperatures, respectively. And again, we were saved by our flow at 5,000 feet, moving over the warmer lake waters, producing some lake effect clouds and some lake effect sprinkles. But that won't be the case tonight, as winds at the surface and aloft will be calm or nearly calm still. And you can see the uh, lake effect clouds evaporating and eroding as we progress through the evening hours. Some mid to upper level cloudiness continues to work through the central and southern portions of Indiana tonight. But generally for us, clear skies as this Canadian high pressure works right over the top of us. Some of the coldest air in the past five months expected around Michiana with lows dropping into the 30s. And because of that, frost advisory in effect for the entire Michiana area, the only portions of Michiana that may be protected from the frost will be small area of real estate right along the lake shore of Lake Michigan. Overnight lows tonight obviously will be in the 30s, 40s back out to our west and tomorrow with this high pressure system working off into the northeast, our winds will kick up from the south and we'll see plenty of sunshine and improving weather conditions as we do head into the weekend. Still a little bit cool for this time of the year with uh, daytime highs in the middle 60s, but nonetheless, a nice football weekend. And if you're heading to the game and you want to know what to wear, well, maybe a sweater or a sweatshirt, turtleneck, temperatures that kick off around 60, warming up to around 65 by fourth quarter, south winds 5 to 10 with Plenty of sunshine, the Irish against the Spartans. Then for Sunday, temperature is even warmer, climbing into the lower 70s, so it won't be as cool. The forecast weather map continues to show the warming conditions here, but keep an eye on our next system. We'll see increasing clouds Sunday night with a chance of showers, and some of this rain here could linger into Tuesday morning as well. So the short-term forecast for tonight, clear and cold, some scattered light frost developing late overnight, could possibly tie the record low overnight tonight at 35 with a light wind. Again, frost advisory. Sunshine mild tomorrow, high 65, south wind 5 to 10. A few clouds and cool tomorrow night, low 48. Then for Sunday, partly sunny, warmer, high 72. So cover up the plants. We don't want them to look like that tree. All right, Sam. Even Good though advice, it's Sam. an award-winning photo. That's right. That's right. Hey, listen, it's not cold over here. This no. guy's running around. We're, we're sprinting around and back, <laughs> getting everything ready. We got Friday Night Live coming your way. It's one big day. Air's 14-hour sale, 8 a.m. to 10 p.m., all day Saturday only. Incredible store-wide savings. Especially for you. Today, you are here. McDonald's 
is there. And the values are everywhere. Only 59 cents for a regular hamburger and just 69 cents for a cheeseburger. Yes, life is good at McDonald's today. And don't forget McDonald's service guarantee. You get hot food and a warm smile, or the next time you come in, the fries are on us. You're gonna love the change at McDonald's. In partnership with Michiana, this is Society Bank, influencing young people with a program that presents leaders and role models in positions of responsibility. Prospective home buyers with limited incomes receive down payment assistance with Society's Home Assist Program, while Society volunteers help current homeowners get a unique chance to beautify their homes with Christmas in April. And the hole-in-one fundraiser directly benefits the elderly, mentally retarded, and chronically disabled. These and many other community services place Society Bank in partnership with Michiana. Here we go with week number four, and to no one's surprise, Penn is once again the team to beat in Class 5A. Tonight, the Kingsmen took their 46-game regular season winning streak to Jackson Field to meet Riley. I tell you what, Riley was ready for this one, folks. This was the story of the early going. Penn turns the ball over, and the Wildcats were in business. They take to the air three plays later. Marcus Lachane finds Delta Williams for a big gain. Williams just about breaks it all the way down the far side. Then it's Kenyon Gray finding pay dirt, coming right at you. Seven to nothing, Riley. Penn would try to score before the half is over. But look out, Rico Swanson has the interception. He's headed the other way, could go all the way, but doesn't. And that turned out to be big because Riley did not get into the end zone. Looked like they could hear Swanson, the pass in his hands, drops it. It was 7-0 at the half, but wouldn't you know, Penn comes back. They win it 22-7, the final score. In Mishawaka, the Cavemen played host to LaSalle. This guy knows how to get on camera. His mom must have taught him, I guess. Second time Cavemen had the ball. The offense goes into motion. Nick Ortiz rips off a 29-yard gain to the LaSalle 19. Caveman got the ball to the one. They found the going tough. Now it's third and inches. The big guy, Ortiz, gets the call. And yes, he does get in. A delayed touchdown signaled. Mishawaka beats LaSalle 14 to six. Now it's time for our game of the week. And for this one, we go to Marion Field where the Knights entertain St. Joe. Dean Huppert has that story. They were fired up at Marion Field. The Knights trying to spoil the Indians' homecoming. On the opening kickoff, it looked like they just might. Brian Carlson takes the opening kickoff, moves around the right side, weaves his way through, sees daylight. He's going to go all the way to the 10-yard line. St. Joe catches up, puts him down at the 10. Knights fired up. But three plays later, Joe McCow, he's intercepted. St. Joe defense holds him off. But then it was time for the Marion defense. St. Joe's Ken Klusinski tosses the option, but no one's there. Mike McGillicuddy, he picks it up, takes it in from the 20-yard line. Marion leads 7-0. It would stay that way to the half as both teams had trouble with turnovers. Marion coach Brian Burkhardt got his kids fired up at halftime. Said that St. Joe's, you know, thinking they have in the bag, and they don't. And we're just going to come out here and do our best and stay tough. And that's exactly what they did. The defense forced yet another turnover. Macau marched the Knights down the field. They get a 33-yard field goal by Dave Dirrell, add an insurance touchdown, and for the first time in nine years, Marion hangs on to win 17-6. The Knights now 3-1 on the season, while St. Joe drops to 1-3. Homecoming queen for St. Joe was Amy Heinzelman. From Marion Field, Dean Huppert, Eyewitness Sports. Ah, yes, leave it to Dean to get those homecoming queens in. This guy wouldn't win a homecoming queen award, but uh, his team was playing pretty good. Adams meeting Clay and Delsheen Pickett will fight his way into the end zone right here. Touchdown, Adams. They were up 13 zip. And then it's David Pruitt. After the excitement, he's going to pick off the pass. And watch this guy turn on the juice, going the other way, all the way for the touchdown. Adams, goose eggs, Clay. 23 to nothing, your final in that one. Jimtown is number one in 1A, and they were trying to stay there. New Prairie would have something to say about that. Take a look at the highlights of this one. The Jimmies looking good early, and they kept running right at our camera. Carl Batiste going to go right by and in for the Jimmies. Next time they have the ball, Ruben Carpenter says, hey, give me a little some of that Friday Night Live action on Channel 22. Where's that cameraman? Here he is. I think I'll go on right on by, but... 
he couldn't quite make it. Greg Farrell does the next play, though, and the Jimmys roll 40 to 6, your final score in that one. Time now to make a stop in Michigan. Dwajak on the road at Brandywine. No, you're out! And the Brandywine coach had to do a little bit of yelling tonight. Not a good one. First play, second quarter. Dwajak to the air. Mike Deering finds David Ikes, and Ikes, he's gone all the way for the touchdown. Next time the Chiefs touch the ball, Kevin Valdez takes the pitch, and you get the idea of this one. It was a good one for Dwajak. 61 to 6, the final in that one. Our final stop takes us to Concord and Goshen. Jared Bardwell pitches out to Allen Hodge on this play, and Goshen's going to get on into the end zone thanks to Mr. Hodge. Now we go to Chris Swartow. Another pitch, but it's Concord coming back. Jason Kinsler takes it in for the touchdown. Then on fourth down and one on the Goshen one. Concord with it. Jeremy Bear makes the stop. They don't get into the end zone. But Goshen, a loser tonight to Concord, 21 to 14. Let's take a look at the rest of tonight's scores. Now, if you didn't see your team score tonight, I want you to get on that high school coach or athletic director of yours. Tell them to be sure to give us a call so we can get it on. Time to take a break now. When we come back, we'll check in on Major League Baseball's pennant races. Play the all-new Easy to Win News Quiz. Weeknights, watch the 10 p.m. Night Shift News on WSBT-TV. Then after 10.30 during Night Court, a question will be asked about some fact presented during that night's newscast. The eighth caller with the correct answer wins. This week, win a $100 gift certificate to the clothes closet. Ladies, if you wear plus sizes, you can save up to 60% on fall clothing and shoes in hard-to-find sizes. Visit the clothes closet stores in South Bend, downtown Goshen, and their sister store, Fashion Plus in Warsaw. And remember, the only way to win is to play News Quiz on WSBT-TV. Just how quiet is a heat pump? You can just faintly hear the fans running. The unit that I have is very quiet. We've been uh, very satisfied with the, the, the noise level. We really don't even know that it's operating. When the air conditioning kicked on, we had to sometimes go out and deck and look around the corner to see if it was on. And uh, I mean, it is quiet. How to do the Ford gear in clearance dash. Step one, see your Ford dealer. Step two, check out our cash back offers. Step three, choose your favorite Ford truck. Right now, with factory discounts and up to $2,000 cash back, you can save up to $4,100 on an F-150, which can mean no money down. Step four, step out in your new Ford truck. See your greater Michigan Ford dealers today. windows and patio doors do a beautiful job of standing up to the weather outside. But their real beauty is the way they make you feel inside. Come home to quality. Come home to Anderson. All right, if you're a Major League Baseball fan, then it just doesn't get any better than this. The Dodgers and Braves separated by just one half game, going head-to-head -head with two weeks left to play. Let's go, go to Chavez Ravine. And Dodger Stadium, take a look at some highlights. Actually, there aren't too many. Dave Justice does get on base here. He's the only guy that's been on so far. This game, scoreless after three innings of play in that one. Now, big news tonight. The Mets, David Cohn had a chance for the Mets. First no-hitter ever. But after seven innings of no-hit baseball, you see it. Felix Jose ends that one. 
and the no-hitter is gone. National League looks like this, then Atlanta and Los Angeles. That game's actually in the third. Now, Chicago, Montreal postponed because of stadium, tr stadium troubles up there in Montreal. Philadelphia beats Pittsburgh 8-3. to New York shuts out St. Louis 1-0. Cincinnati loses to Houston. San Diego leads San Francisco 3-1. The American League West, the Sox, pursuit of Minnesota. Boy, they might not want to wake up those twins. Sox hosting California tonight, and the twins... We'll check in with them in a minute. Here's the sacrifice fly ball. Tim Raines has it. He throws to the plate. Luis Bologna's coming, and he's dead at the plate. Ball game stayed scoreless, but the Angels come up with two runs. They took a 2-0 lead, and to update you, Bo Jackson has just hit a two-run homer in the ninth. The game is tied 2-2 in the 10th inning. Tigers still hanging in there in the east. They were hosting the Brewers tonight. Bill Spires connects for a grand slam, and it's bad news for the Tigers. Take a look at the American League, and it looks like this tonight. Milwaukee beating Detroit 8-5. to California-Chicago tied at 2 in the 10th. Minnesota tied at 4 in the 8th. Boston a winner over New York. Toronto losing to Oakland. That's big for the Tigers and Boston. Kansas City 0-0 in the 3rd, while Baltimore beats Cleveland 2-1. to Well, that does it for another busy Friday night. Back to you guys, Luke and Cindy. Okay, and we'll have Sam 7-day when we come back. happening now in the darkest recesses of your wallet. They're multiplying out of control and there's nothing you can do about it until October 1st. Good night. What a celebration. New York Carpet World 65th anniversary. And here's your invitation to huge savings. I've handpicked every item for this event. Save 50% on America's best selling carpets, major brands, best stain protection. Save 50%. Vinyls, area rugs, ceramic tile. There's free pad and credits free. No finance charge for a whole year. The celebration is store wide for the greatest savings of our 65 years. Hurry and Saturday at New York Carpet World. Your Michiana Pontiac dealers proudly introduce the all-new Bonneville for 1992. A car this exceptional deserves an exceptional offer. You can lease the all-new 92 Bonneville SE for just $2.99 a month. A limited-time introductory offer from your Michiana Pontiac dealers, where customer satisfaction is our top priority. For everyone who loves meat and loves pizza, Pizza Hut presents a very meaty offer on Meat Lover's Pizza. It's loaded with six delicious meat toppings and a blend of cheeses. And right now, you can get a large Meat Lover's Pizza for just $10.99. Meat Lover's Pizza. It's only at Pizza Hut and only for a limited time. Okay, one more time on the weather here. This time we'll look ahead, huh? Yeah, frost advisory tonight, but temperatures rebounding into the middle 60s by tomorrow afternoon. 70s for Sunday. Rain on the first day of fall, lingering into Tuesday. And temperatures at or below normal into next week. Beautiful day, though, tomorrow for a football game. Okay, and we've got one more football game to talk about, I think. Right. Michigan State, Notre Dame tomorrow. Tune right here for post game at 5.30 and at 10. Okay, that's a deal. And that's it for tonight. Thanks for joining us. Have a great weekend. Good night. Good night. You're looking at people who need to borrow money. One of them is a first source customer. He knows that when he picks up his phone and calls 235-5555, he'll get just what he wants. A prompt answer, yes or no. Good advice on the best loan and a payment plan that meets his needs. It's First Source Bank's hassle-free loan promise. That's what partnership is all about. Only a touch this soft can be grandma. 
and only a bath tissue this soft can be called Kleenex. New Kleenex Premium Bathroom Tissue is specially layered with facial tissue softness on both sides, so all that touches you is softness. Only a smile this soft can be a sister, and only a premium bath tissue this soft can be called Kleenex. Now save big on the best-made furniture in the business during Lazy Boy Showcase Shop's Factor Authorized Clearance Sale. Save 25 to 50% on selected Lazy Boy Classic Recliners. Factory Authorized Clearance Sale Prices on Special Purchase Lazy Boy Rocker Recliners, now $2.99. Sleep sofas from $4.99. Reclining sofas specially priced at $6.77. And 50% off Lazy Boy Selected Tables. Buy now during our Factory Authorized Clearance Sale at the Lazy Boy Showcase Shop, corner of Main and LaSalle, downtown South Bend. How can you tell when you need help with a troubled teenager? Look for warning signs like dramatic change in appearance, rebellion, drugs, withdrawal, depression, maybe even talk of suicide. If you think your teen is in trouble, Charter can help. We offer real solutions to your family's problems. Call Charter Hospital of South Bend today.